Welcome to the debate on the Premier League preview show. Today we are in uh, South London at Crystal Palace. We want to ask ourselves a very interesting question. We are asking if Jordan Ayew, Ghana for a Jordan Ayew, is a Crystal Palace legend. Now he's been at the club for a while, considerable amount of time. He scored what, 20? 23 goals. 23 goals, 21, 21 assists. 21 assists. 200 appearances. 200 appearances. That's a lot. You know, so people are asking, so we are asking, is he a Palace legend? Can he be called a Palace legend? Can he? Yeah. Yes, he can be called a Palace legend. And um, 23 goals yeah, and 200. Yeah, and per his, his trajectory, um, should he, his contract got extended by another year. Mm -hmm. Should he um, play out the way he's playing mm -hmm. um, at this point in time and play out that contract and potentially out another year? Yeah, he will go down as a legend for Crystal Palace because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, um, w you look at the appearances. Who, who, who checks the box of a legend, a club legend. Mm -hmm. The number of appearances count. You cannot come in and... But it's not only that alone. It's not only that alone, but the appearances count. You, 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 can, you cannot come in and play one season, two seasons. No, even, yeah, one season, two seasons, and you, you play, let's say, 50 games, and you leave and be considered a legend. What, unless, if, what if in those two seasons they were trophy ladies? Yes, unless your production was absolutely insane. But... If your production hasn't been insane, the way Jordan Ayew's production hasn't been insane, then you need, then you need to play um, for a long time. You need to play for a long time. And Jordan Ayew has been able to achieve that, getting 200 appearances um, for Crystal Palace. And on top of that, you, you look at um, the club in question, okay. Crystal Palace. How many legends do they have? Uh, and how many of them fall in the caliber category of a Jordan Ayew. Where, well, had, where, where, a, a player... Yeah, right? There's Ian Rice. Yeah, yeah where you have Murray a player, you have a player who's played at, what, two World Cups. You have a player who was on the brink of winning the AFCON in 2015, uh, who has played in multiple AFCON semifinals, who has been in top-tier competition for a long time and plays for um, up until 2021. He played for a, a, a country called Ghana that had been probably the best and most consistent team in the AFCON for a six-year stretch, where they consistently made a semi-final and made it to the AFCON final in 2015. And so, how many of their legends fall in that category? Okay. They don't. Okay. They don't have too many of them. Okay. And Jordan is there. He checks all those boxes. And on top of that, he has those appearances to to match it. So for me, yeah, he will be considered a, a Crystal Palace legend. And there's a reason why coaches come in, coaches go at, at Crystal Palace. He is still there. And on top of that, he has those iconic moments too. Those fine, fine, um, brilliant strikes that he gets occasionally for Crystal Palace. <laughs> once in every three years. Yeah, once in every three years. It, they do count. And because they don't have um, such brilliant uh, playmaking, um, uh, many of okay. those, yes, it sticks in the minds of the, of the, of the, of the fans and he becomes part of their folklore. His recent goal he scored against Everton. Yeah. He got nominated for um, goal of the month in February. As part of the, the goal of the month nominations mm -hmm. in February. How many Crystal Palace uh, players get into that kind okay. of uh, category on a consistent basis? So for me, yes, the production in terms of the numbers, terrible. But when you look at what he brings to the table, what the coaches love about him and keep on playing him, their willingness yeah. to work out for the team, to uh, sacrifice for the team and do the so-called dirty job for the likes of um, flashy players like Olise and Eze to shine. Yeah, okay. he'll be a club legend. He, he's a club legend. Imano? Well, he's not. Let's, let's quickly go through his. Just the <laughs> Premier League appearance. So he's been there since 1819. That was his first season. Mm -hmm. I think he had a knock at the beginning. So he yeah. had 20 appearances, one goal. Mm -hmm. The next season, 37 appearances, 9 goals. Mm -hmm. I think that season he was their player of the year. Player of the year. I'll give that to him. We go to 2020-2021, 33 appearances, 1 goal. <laughs> wow. 2021-2022, 31 appearances, 3 goals. 2022-2023, 38 appearances, 4 goals. Okay. How can you call this guy a legend? <laughs> I mean, I'll give it to him. He's been fit and for... A sustained period in the league. He was very available. He's always available. He's giving you averagely about, outside his first season, he's giving you about 30 matches yeah. a season. That's, that's a very fit player. But fit, being a legend of a club isn't just about fitness. Okay. And for me, Crystal Palace, I think their most recent 
um, let's say glory access or whatever it was was a 2015 FA, FA Cup final. final. Yeah, I don't think United. Jordan Ayo has pushed them to any anything of that nature. He's not been in in he's not been at the at the at the helm of anything of that nature. Okay. And for me, that is what separates you from the rest of the players who have played for Crystal Palace. Yes, we'll give it to him. 200 appearances in a top flight mm -hmm. is quite yeah. good, but I mean, you had 200 appearances as a forward, scoring 23 goals. I mean, for the quality he has, he was supposed to be averaging about, let's say, eight goals a season. That's way below what he's producing yeah. for Crystal Palace. But, I mean, he's there for them. He's fit. He seems to fit into the strategy of what they are doing. But to be called a legend, then, I, I think we are watching down there the value of what a legend is. But, I see. Interesting. Yeah, a legend is a legend. But for a team like it's Crystal a fitness Palace, legend or no, appearance for legend, like I'll give that to him. For instance, there, there's a reason why Tahi Chong um, didn't make it at Man United, but yeah. he's playing well at Luton Town. Tengen Menji and those guys. That's their yes, level. That's their level. And this is the level of Crystal Palace that Jordan Ayu like doesn't have 100 but, goals. But he has 200 appearances. He has yeah. 23 goals and 21 assists. That's what? 44 goal involvement. In 200 um, appearances, that's in, more like in, what? In six or seven fit. years? That's what, that's what one fit. That's more than enough. That's one he, fit. Yes, one fit. And he has um, uh, a player of the year award too. Yeah, one to his credit. Year. Goal one. of the year. Yeah, to his credit. So all of that stack up. And for a team like Crystal Palace, again, that is more than enough to end and okay. gain legendary status. It's not my United or Chelsea. Okay. This won't cut or it Liverpool. at my United okay. or Liverpool. But at Crystal Palace, it should cut it. Space. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, as, as we wrap it up, let's have a look at the fixtures once again. 